self-centered reality and the only thing that has the power to destroy it is the liquid love that flows from the understanding of the cross this is why we teach the cross it's not a historical reality it's a dimension a mystery in god that restores a man back to the original template that god designed you come to a point where it becomes impossible for corruption to exist within your boundary i didn't know this god woke me up and began to teach me because the christianity that was handed down to us is a christianity that suggests that it was impossible to live above sin so the reason we were slaves of sin is not because we we're weak it's because we were taught defeat before we began so we had the consciousness that sin will always be a part of us the bible said be ye renewed in the spirit of your mind the spirit of your mind is different from your mind your mind is the part of the soulish organ that processes things that retains things but the spirit of your mind is a a status quo that your mind attains is a a state that your mind has entered that is like the backdrop from whence you process you know there's no way you can see me outside of this backdrop that's what the spirit of your mind is so there are certain people that believe men are wicked so even if you are good to them for five years they will tell you men are wicked it only takes time so they can never see good in a man that's the spirit of their mind there are certain people that believe the ebos are not trustworthy that's the spirit of their mind so even if you are with them for 30 years so long as you are able they believe you are not trustworthy but it's not a disposition of the spiritual man because there's a place in christ that if a man enters he can be washed he can be transformed there are certain people that believe the muslim man is violent there are certain people that believe if you are from the middle bed you are lazy it's a spirit of the man that's the same tradition that was handed down to us that it is impossible to be holy in this life it's impossible to live above sin so jesus said be ye holy be ye perfect rather as your heavenly father is perfect peter said be ye holy as your heavenly father is holy it is possible to live in a realm above corruption it is traceable to the cross the moment the love of christ begins to constrain a man he does something to that man he loses the ability to live for himself and the moment a man loses the ability to live for himself god takes over he steps out of the boundary of self and something about him that was in the original dna that god sculpted begins to find expression it is an operation that is captured in love it's an operation captured in love Why do you think God instituted the marriage, instituted marriage? It's not just for procreation. In Romans 8:32, it said, You should be conformed to the image of Christ. So every spiritual system that God creates is to give you an opportunity to attain conformity, including the church, including marriage. You may think you are perfect until you have to live with somebody at close range. That's why you see that the apostle is an angry beast. That's when you see that the prophet is a liar. That's when you see that the evangelists have no control. It is an institution that reveals to you flesh.